Hi everyone, Julie from Julieverse, and today we're talking newlyweds and wedding season because that's what this is. It's summertime and people are getting married. Uh, I got married in July and um, I got some great advice right before my wedding, or maybe it was at my wedding that I always give to people, and it was to stop and take a look around because your night is going to go so fast and you won't notice every little thing. So try to just take it all in. And um, actually the couple that told me that came up to me a couple times during the night and was like, look around, you know, it was just those little hints. And so now when I go to weddings, I try to say that as well. Um, but you know, beyond the wedding, you're going to need some advice. So um, I remember a year after I got married, my cousin called me and she was excited, you know, asked me to be in her wedding. And then she said, so what kind of advice do you have for me? And I was like, oh, man, this is a job. This is not the advice she wanted. I think I've even written about this before. She wanted to hear like, oh, you don't need advice. It's fun. But I was like, oh, no, it's a job. It is. Being married is a job. You are now like having someone else next to you for the rest of your life that you have to try to find a way to live with. So um, here are my five tips for living together, being married, and enjoying each other for the rest of your life. Um, and I'm sure that if I took more time, I could come up with 150 million tips, but here are five. One, date often. And I mean date each other. Date each other often. Make time for that, whether you can go out to a restaurant, to a concert, to a circus. I don't care what you're going to. Um, or, you know, you're taking your food into the dining room or you're eating on the back deck. Um, you know, some times are going to be tough. You know, you might not always be able to go out, but make sure that you're making a plan to make a date often for each and just to focus on each other, even when you have kids. Um, gift each other. Now, I'm not saying spend a lot of money. Look, if you want to buy, guys, if you want to go buy your wife diamonds every other day, I commend you and you should talk to my husband and give him some ideas. But realistically, gift each other often. Don't forget each other's birthdays. Don't forget your anniversaries. Don't forget the day you met as your meetiversary or whatever. Um, and if you don't gift each other something fancy and pricey, it could be a favorite CD. It could be a mixed tape. People don't make those anymore. It could be an iTunes list. Um, it could be a, a hand-drawn card. It could be a massage that you do or that you send someone to but gift each other to show that you care. And along with that, number three is compliment each other. If you think that, you know, over the past six weeks, your spouse has been having a really tough time at work and that he needs to know what makes you proud, tell him. If you think that, you know, she or he is looking hot tonight, let him know how good that shirt looks. Like, communicate and compliment each other. Number four is listen. Listen to each other. You know, that's the biggest advice, best advice you're probably ever going to hear is, is give the other person a chance to talk and make sure that you're speaking evenly, like taking even amounts of time. You're not always going to talk evenly, but taking equal amounts of time to, um, to make sure that you get your points across and understand and listen. And if you don't understand something he or she is saying, then you should ask. You know, take the time to sit down on the couch or the table or the car or whatever and listen. And then this, along with that, if you're going to have a major conversation, break it up into 20-minute segments. I just learned that the other day. Don't spend your four-hour car ride talking about the same topic the whole time because you're going to hate each other and it's not going to end. Talk about it for 20 minutes and then say, okay, our 20 minutes are over. Let's listen to some music. All right. And then this is my last bit of advice for you. Spend some time apart. They always say absence makes the heart grow fonder. I know you've heard that before. It's really important. Go out on your own. Go get a manicure or a pedicure. Go out for a girls' night or guys' night at least once a month. Go on a trip with your sisters or your brothers or your parents or your best friends. You know, not often, but every now and then. It's a good thing. It, it makes you realize just how much you enjoy each other's company and that you really are a good fit. Um, and, and most important, remember that you love each other and that that love was there and it's there for a reason. So congratulations. Go have fun. Enjoy your wedding. Enjoy your honeymoon. Enjoy your life together. And just make sure that you always remember that you're in this together. Bye-bye. See you next week.